Hello everyone, Carrie Lane here with Fanversation and I'm at the Animations Film Festival here in Hollywood. What brings you to the Animation is Film Festival? I am from Armenia and for the last seven years I was working in an animated documentary about Armenian genocide based on a, a testimony of a genocide survivor. And uh, we have uh, here our U.S. premiere, and I am very proud to be here. <laughs> That's very exciting. Congratulations. What made you pick this story and a documentary format? And actually, on top of that, too, animation documentary. To be accurate, I'm coming from documentary background, so animation is something new, very excited, very heavy, very unexpectedly heavy. But I'm very happy that we decided to make this film in animated format because it's become unique and uh, it adds a lot of colors, mood and sense into the movie. And uh, as a documentary filmmaker, I always thought that I will not touch the Armenian genocide topic. But I discovered this one story of a young girl, 14-year-old girl, who not only survived genocide in a very heavy situation, she passed through it, but she also made it to Hollywood and become a Hollywood actress in 1990. And her story was not known. And she did everything to help Armenian orphans. So I, as soon as I become familiar with it, I saw that this is something that needs to be told and decided to tell it in animation format. How has the reception been so far? We are going to have the premiere like in 15 minutes, <laughs> so we can talk about it afterwards. But the festival is really amazing. I enjoyed the opening and films that are here are really amazing. And we are in competition, so I'm keeping fingers crossed for the results. Obviously, it's a very important subject matter and telling a story that's not told. But what also do you hope people take away from the film? Yeah, it's... Um, of course, it's maybe a bit very romantic or uh, ambitious, but I really want that we learn from the history because sadly, even today, uh, we hear similar heavy stories and not from far regions, uh, from also from Europe, Ukraine, Armenia today. We also have war going on and we have similar stories happening like even as close as September this year. So I really hope that we learn from history and we will not repeat these mistakes, the human, the humanity, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Being a docu documentary filmmaker and animation was a new medium for you. Did you find any particular challenges and how did you overcome them? Uh, besides technical challenges, we also challenged uh, COVID <laughs> during the production period yeah. and war in Armenia, so it was many challenges. Uh, it's new learning process. Uh, but uh, and, and we did uh, experiment with the styles, so it was trying, trying, trying. It was you never stop with animation, you know. You always thought that you're done, but then you're watching it and you want, need to do more. And uh, so it's it's very exciting, but it gives really uh, a unique opportunities to to follow your imagination. So it's really great <laughs> medium. Well, wonderful. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you so much.